Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round your virgin mother and child, holy infant and so tender mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Hello friends, Taras Kitchens with you. Carol's Day, it's mean Christmas coming and of course I would like to share with you our favorite dishes for Christmas, donuts and of course vareniki with a few of the fillings. Let's start our cooking. So for our donuts, pampushke, we need flour, milk, butter, yeast, eggs and for our filling it's a chocolate, of course cherry and poppy seeds. So we would have three kinds of uh, donuts and uh, sugar powder to, for decoration. So uh, let's start. First of all, we need to uh, prepare our yeast. So we will uh, use our yeast with the flour and you need to take the big spot for that. And so for our donuts, we will, uh, we will, make, we will use 50 grams of yeast. It's a half portion of this. Then we need to add two, three spoon of flour and of course sift flour. One cup of warm milk. Then we need to add sugar, 50 grams, one spoon of sugar. And mix all ingredients. Mix till the yeast will melt it with the warm milk. Then we need to add um, some alcohol. It can be vodka or uh, brandy or cognac. So I'll use brandy or cognac. Uh, about 50 grams. Dobra. <laughs> Mix again. Okay, then we need to cover and leave it for half an hour. Then uh, let's continue. So we will, um, we will mix eggs with sugar and with the butter, warm butter. So we need four yolks. And you have one egg to this. Then to our yolks, we need to add warm butter. Then we need to add two tablespoons of sugar and mix. So two cups of soft flour. And 
and mix with yolks and butter and sugar. Practically we're making our dual for donut. Traditionally we are making donuts for Christmas but also if you or your family members love them you can do it even in the summer. <laughs> The same tradition we have for the Easter, when you have to try 12 different pieces of Easter bread pasca. The same with the Christmas donuts, you have to try 12 different donuts, pampoje. For girls who uh, once got married, but after when you try 12 donuts or 12 different pieces of Easter bread, you need to work out. <laughs> So it's a kind of challenge for girls when you're cooking at home and then you need to visit 12 different houses to ask them about donuts. Probably after 10, they are full and tired. <laughs> so we made our dough and then we will mix with our yeast, but a little bit later. Uh, okay, then we need to prepare our poppy seed for our filling. Uh, then we just need to mix our poppy seed with the hot water and leave it for some time. And then we will mix it with, with the sugar. You can also buy in a grocery store or in a market. There is poppy seed with the sugar but I would like to show you how we are making our filling with the poppy seed. Then we need to mix our dough with our yeast. You will see if you need to add flour then we need to add flour by the way you can write in, in the comments what is your favorite uh, donuts filling is it cherry or chocolate or poppy seed And mix again. My grandmother all the time said that it's really important when you're cooking for Christmas Eve or for Easter that uh, your starting cooking should start with a pray. And then all your minds and things should be clear and peaceful. Then all your dishes will be the best. So. so our dough is ready and we need to leave it about one hour and a half in a workplace. But after one hour we need to see how it's working and then mix a little bit and then cover again and leave for half an hour again. Let's do this. So our uh, dough for donuts working. Uh, second dish, it's a vareniki. We will uh, use two fillings, mashed potato and sauerkraut. But first of all, let's do our dough and then it can wait about half an hour because the main secret of the good dough will be next. Okay, for our dough we need two cups of flour, one cup of hot water, but the temperature of the water is supposed to be that you can work, you know, with the dough with your hands, and about 50 deg degrees, and that's it. This is the secret of the dough, 
then our dough will be soft and taste will be good. Uh, let's go. Two cups of flour. Many of you asked me how to do really good and soft dough. You know, all the time it's, it depends on something. Is it good flour or not? If you are like to put some salt or uh, olive oil or regular oil, it's it doesn't matter. But the main thing is uh, it's flour. Then we need to add water. Mix. some flour that kind of dough you can also use for sweet varanike it's with cherries or with a poppy seed or different kind of berries you know you can also put their blueberries in the summertime so blueberries in Ukraine it's about July August it's a season for those berries so as you can see our dough is ready and we need to leave it for 20 minutes half an hour then we can start use our filling and dough so we will cover our dough and leave it nearby donuts too let's do our fillings first of all you need a mashed potato and we need sauerkraut but we are going to a little bit fry our sauerkraut with uh, oil and uh, onion first of all we need to double wash our sauerkraut because it's really really sour so we will cut it it doesn't matter the size also, if you're interested how to do sauerkraut, we will put the link for our video how to do it. Okay. Uh, then we will need to uh, cut our onion and fry it with the sauerkraut. oil by the way did you know that Ukraine is a leader in Europe of export of sunflower oil now you know that let's fry our onion I know that on Facebook a few years ago it was a challenge and even now people talking about difference between Varaniki and Perohe. I will tell you a little bit about that. Um, so many many years ago uh, till the independence of Ukraine, Western Ukraine was included to Poland. And from Polish language, uh, Varaniki, it's mean pierogies. So the Western part of Ukraine still use this word for Varaniki perohe. It's 
pretty common even in my village it's only 60 kilometers to border with Poland so uh, for example in my village we still say it Perohe but for example in Lviv now young people say it's Faranaki or uh, central part or east or south part of uh, of Ukraine they can say it's Varenike because uh, that part of Ukraine was included to uh, to Russian uh, territory and from Russian language Parohe it's Vareniki so still doesn't matter it's still right is it Vareniki or Parohe taste the same taste delicious so mix again our onion Uh, let's add our sauerkraut. Mix up the onion and fry about two three minutes. So what kinds of varaniki we are making for our Svetvecher for Christmas Eve? Uh, so regular with potato, uh, sauerkraut, so you can just mix uh, buckwheat with sauerkraut and use like a filling for, for your varenike. Also the recipe of that you can find in my book. So our filling with the sauerkraut and onion done. Let's just chill it. This is our second filling. Okay, you need to, to add some salt and pepper to our fillings. And mix. Done. And done. Then we need to make our dough. It's rested. Mix again. Then we need to make varanichke for a filling, then you can use just regular cup or uh, glass size like this. First of all, we will make with potato, really easy. As you remember from my last year video for the Christmas, I told you that my mom for Christmas Eve, she make it about five, six hundred different kinds of varanaki. <laughs> but most of you love with potato and sauerkraut for three days. Can you imagine? <laughs> Also, if you like, you can, of course, you can sing your carols. At the beginning, you heard my version of Silent Night. Also, we have the same in Ukrainian language, Tehanich. Tehanich, Svyatanich, Jasnistb, Krisirnitz. Ты, ты, нонька, пресвята, 
Такая сна мовсоря, спочивая тихо, тихим, тихим сни. And many, many more carols. It's a kind of tradition when you are visiting your relatives for the Christmas Eve or for the for the Christmas Day. Uh, to sing carols about the windows or about the door or in a home, different kinds. And then they can give you like a thank you, some donuts, candy, sometimes for kids money. So you have to know some carols. So next year come to Ukraine, we can do our 12 dishes. We can sing our carols and we can visit guests. <laughs>
Let's cook next part with the sakra. And wait. Okay, let's mix our varenike with onion. Also, add some salt and pepper. And shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Okay, let's take our varenike with sauerkraut. By the way, this is one of my favorite kind of varenike with sauerkraut. Let's serve our varenike with sauerkraut. The same, add some salt, pepper, and onion to taste. Okay, and shake it. Done. And the last. And we are cooking our the last varenike with potato mixed with sauerkraut. Our varenike cooked. Okay, let's serve the last varenike with potato and sauerkraut, the same salt, pepper, oil, and onion. Mm. Okay, so our varenic is ready and we are going to cook our donuts because our dough is ready. We have to mix again. You will see if you need to add more flour. It helps to work. Okay, we need to leave for two, three minutes more. Now we need to warm up our oil for frying our donuts. So we need about one liter and a half oil to fry them. So donuts, pampoje is supposed to dip in half to our warm hot oil. Then we will fry them from both sides till golden color. Process of frying is about two or three minutes for one donut. Then we need to mix poppy seed with the sugar. Three teaspoons. If you like sweet poppy seeds, you can add more sugar. Done. Now I show you how to do easier donuts. That trick my mom showed me. It will save you time. So we are going to divide our dough for two sides. This side we are going to put our filling and that side we will cover it and then we will make with a glass or a cup 
donuts. I will show you how it looks like. Let's start with cherry. Three, four cherries is okay for one donut. Then just cover it. And from here you can see where is your cherries. Then just take less and do it like this. Okay. Okay, let's fry. So, let's go next. With the same way, divide door for two sides. For the first side, put your filling. For the second, just cover it and do donut. So, next will be with the chocolate. I have chocolate like this. But also you can use regular chocolate plate or candies, doesn't matter. Okay, let's cover them. Okay, and let's finish the last one with the poppy seed. Just write in your comments what is your favorite kind of donuts. So I can share with you from my kitchen to you directly. So, the same. And cover it. Don't forget to check. Also, if you have situation with the donuts like this, just make a, a ball. So, do it like this. That's it. It will protect them to not divide. Okay. Okay. If you see color really good for donuts, it means that they are ready. Smells so good. Okay, let's put another. Be careful because oil is really hot. When I was a kid, also my mom or my grandmother, they make for us for Christmas donuts pompaki. For me, it was so easily, you know, just to check how she making dough, you know. But I didn't recognize that it was so long. And that process, you need to spend like few hours because of dough, you know, and then preparation and then cooking and decoration. So, but it's, you know, the taste of our donuts. You have to do this. <laughs> okay, those pampuhi are ready. And you see only a few minutes from both sides. Beautiful color. Next. Those ready to. We need to take away some oil, so. Let's decorate our donuts pompoche with the sugar powder. Great. Pompoche. 
Varenike. Let's try some. I want this Varenik. Then I would like to try this one. I would like to try this one. Mmm. Really good. It was with just potato. This one is so crowd. Yummy, yummy with sauerkraut. And the last one is potato mixed with sauerkraut. Perfect. Perfect Varenike Perohe. And now, for us, it's a kind of challenge because I can't see what's inside in donuts. So I don't know. I will just choose this one. And we will see what's inside. And let's go. Mmm, this is with cherries, my favorite. Beautiful. And it's of course delicious. So friends, Merry Christmas to you and Happy New Year from me, from my kitchen, from our company, from Lviv, from Ukraine, with love from our country to you. Uh, happy to see you next year here and we can try to cook some delicious dishes in the future. So cheers and Merry Christmas. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas!